Hey everyone, I'm James, and you're watching the Speed Freaks Builder Series, powered by Dime City Cycles. If you missed last week's video, Ant from For the Bold painted the CX motor in that sweet new cast cast iron that helped make it a little less Wally and a little more Terminator. Be sure to go back and check that out. This week, we're going to take a look behind the scenes of a segment a ton of you have been asking about, that sinewy custom exhaust. But before we dive in, I want to remind you that this bike could be yours. So check the description below and find out how you can win. All right, now let's see if these pipes are hot or if Ant's just blown smoke. So the exhaust, that was a new challenge for me. I've, I haven't done an exhaust before, but I wanted, I wanted this bike to stand out and being a tracker build, we would get called upon by the YouTube community if we did put an exhaust that was going up through the top. Because obviously being a, a tracker and a scrambler or a motocross bike, you don't want your exhaust going underneath because if you bash against any, any ground or anything like that, you're going to dent and break your exhaust. So that's the whole point of them going up. What we did here is we used a, uh, an excess pipe kit straight off the shelf for Dime City Cycles. The pipe kit comes with a 180 degree bend, a 90 degree bend and a load of straights. And that had enough bends and materials that we needed to actually create these two amazing looking exhausts that wrapped around the front and went through the back. And for the angles that we didn't have, simply cutting 15 degree uh, cuts and sections allowed us to then make that smooth sweep so it wasn't too sharp so that the gases wouldn't be able to go through it. And then finally, we exhaust wrapped the, uh, the entire thing just to hide my really ugly welds. Because at the end of the day, I'm not a welder. So what we're going to do is, whilst we've got the spares bike, the, the donor CX500 lying here, and the other frame's gone off to the powder coat, we're going to use this as a base to weld and fabricate our exhaust on. We might as well, whilst it's sitting here, it's going to save us time as well, rather than waiting for the frame to get back and waste time on that, might as well utilise it. Man, the custom bends really give the bike some curves for your eyes to follow. Snaking through the frame and ending in a high side mount certainly hints at the pedigree in the heart of a tracker. Well done, Ant. Be sure to come back next week to see the next phase of this build taking shape. 